gonna do the correcting portion. This will be the last final part of this for this painting and we'll be done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through it. We're just gonna do light touch ups everywhere. So everywhere you see a spot where you don't really need color, just take your black and just lightly go over top of the area. This is a way that artists can learn how to define their work. This way you can make your work look how you want it to look. Even though this has artisticness to it, I still want it to have a little bit of perfection. I still want it to have a little bit of some of the direct lines that I can't get if I don't fix it a little. It's nice to have a bit of a perfection at time at times. Now the biggest one that I need to fix is this little mistake right here. That may take two coats, we'll see. It just helps to blend it away. It doesn't matter if you do a perfect job necessarily, because remember, art isn't always perfect. But, art is supposed to be viewed from a distance. If you didn't know that, well, now you know. So anyways, most pieces are viewed from about four to six feet away from the subject. So if you're smart and you know that, then you can do what I'm doing and get away with it because technically the little details, the little fixer uppers are the spots that you do in order to ensure that they people get that experience of the four to six feet. Now, I'm gonna suggest that that's pretty much done. Let's do a little bit over here. I'm going to suggest that I do a little bit more of this, of this green because I'm kind of missing a green. So let's go do that really quick. Um, so let's go with the green. Make a little bit of green here. <coughs> a little bit of white. <coughs> I'm turn that into a, a lighter green so I can do my highlight that I forgot about on this one. highlight and then what we're gonna do is fix that topically with the black take the black again do that little fix 
because I want these ones to have more of a straighter edge just because for this particular piece so that straight edge is complete the greens complete all the colors are complete this could use a tiny bit more like I thought it might I think we're pretty much good to go on this one so I think I'm going to sign this now Alright, this painting is completed, so let's sign it. We're going to sign it right down here in this corner right here. Because I like to sign my work in different areas. I don't know, should I sign it down there? Sign it at the top. Hmm, that's a tough question. Let's see. The top would be up there in that corner. Hmm, I guess I could. Top of the bottom. Hmm. Could just do it down here. Hmm. Make it a little bit different. Yeah, let's be different. <laughs> now I'm going to sign it so everybody knows that I'm signing it with the original signature that I do with all my paintings. Some of you may consider this to be a symbol or even a trademark, but really it actually isn't. Um, I've been using this exact penmanship ever since the early 2000s to write and sign my checks, in case you guys are interested. In other words, this symbol right here this signature is actually my signature and it's on massive amounts of documents throughout my life mainly at the bank for checks and for online um, sorry for checks and for other things that I've done so this even though some people like to think is a is a patent or I think it's, it's a trademark really what it actually is is my real signature and uh, the signature is like I said it's everywhere. It's on my bank statements ever since I was, well, ever since I was pretty much 19. I think I've been using that one. I can prove that that's my signature. I can prove this in my painting, and I can prove that through bank documents in a court of law if I ever really had to. And trust me, I would. <laughs> I really very much would. <clears throat> well, thank you very much for watching this little piece right here. Um, after this, I'm going to actually showcase this on, it, on its own video so everyone can see it. But that's the gorgeousness of a painting I painted right in front of you so no one can say that it's somebody else's painting as everybody on YouTube wants to believe. Um, it's really funny how the YouTube representatives actually tried to take down my videos because they thought that I didn't have a copyright to it. So I thought, okay, well, if that's the case, then I'm just going to make sure that I paint some of the paintings live for you to prove that I've actually painted it, sign it live for you to prove that it's my signature, and if we have any legal problems, then I guess we'll have to take it up with, with legal counsel. Thank you very much, and hope you guys have a great day. I can't wait to see it. The art show is going to be beautiful, and it's going to be wicked. I have a lot of interesting stuff to show you. Like I said, I'll be showing this to you uh, very shortly again um, as its own little video as a showcase. Thanks.